yeah, we're back with Paper Mario. Hello. How we doing? Um, so I don't know if anybody's noticed, but I've been doing a thing. I'm probably just waiting until people get here. But, um, yeah, welcome back to Paper Mario. Um, so I did something. I, you know, I found the person that adjusts my HP and stuff. And, um, I also got a Power Plus P. I went ahead and equipped that. And, uh, what else did I find? Oh, I found Hammer Man, finally. So I did play a little bit offline, but that's fine. That's fine. So, what I'd really like to have is some, uh, a little bit of extra strength. Um, FP Drain kind of hurts me a little because it lowers my attack, but it's worth it because in the long run, I will now hardly ever run out of uh, FP. But now that I have no use for jump because of Jump Man, uh, I'm not going to equip any more jump power badges. So I got to figure out what I want to do. I don't know if I want that. I need to find all the bad shops. That's what I need to do. I don't remember where the other bad shops are. Well, you have different stuff now. Yeah, where we left off, we just got done doing the entirety of uh, Chapter 5 in one swing. Um, I'm going to check out the bad shop again, because it might have refreshed by now. Uh, yeah, we got fire We got fire drive in here now. Frank Stomp. Oh, no, I need to go down to the um, underground real quick. Maybe I should get super appeal for the partner. I'm, I, you know, I probably already had it. No, I didn't. Okay. Onward. Sometimes I think I'd be better off not even, not ever speaking. Oh, I wish I was still a pig. Eternally gloomy twilighter. Okay. What did I just say? Star piece guy. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, where do I go? I'm all here, I promise. Pinalco, hello. Oh, now that I have the boat power, I need to go do that, too. Hello. Welcome back, stranger. Got lots of good things on sale, stranger. <laughs> I want another one of these. I want another one of these so bad. But I'm short. I, I, I was going to get another Power Plus P. Do I have one already? Or, yeah, I'm good. I don't need another one. Flower Finder. Let's get another. Let's get another flower. 
flower saver. B -b 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 Three BP for that. Oof. Bye, puppy. Hello. Yeah. I want to make something very clear. I do not intend to ever run out of FP. <laughs> um Goodbye, Zap Tap. Let me be clear. <laughs> ah, here we go. Let's see if I can do it. It's like, here, allow me to be clear. Peace out. Good grief. Good grief. What do I put on now? I need one more BP. I need to keep piercing blow because I'm actually going full blown hammer man. <laughs> so I don't want to completely hurt myself here. Am I really using charge that much? Alright, let's rock. Flowers forever! I will never run out of FP! <laughs> All oh, right, I gotta go that way. Sorry, Bobbery. <laughs> Just throws the man into the lake. What's this? Double dip! <laughs> you like water, right? Kadoosh! As if we need more of these. I forget. I know there's a there's a way to upgrade them a second time, but I don't remember where to find it. That's probably later though. Hi. Hi. Well, the only one- 13! The only ones who don't have one yet. <laughs> Double drip. Hooktail's castle? Huh? The the um... I can go back there. I gotta... Where is it? Merlin will stand outside his hut at some point and hint at it, but I'm not sure you'll have to wait for the event or not. 
Oh. Return someday. Oh, okay. I had to come down here anyway, because there's there's a lot of new places I can go to. Wait. I blew up the wall at the um the west side here. Yeah, I blew it up already. I was looking for more badges to buy. Hmm. Oh, Hammer Bro. What are you doing down here? You also just reminded me of the spike room, which I need to do. Whoa, these dudes are... What the flip? What are these guys doing here? Well, don't put it in the way. Look at that, power smash for two. <laughs> Keep in mind, there's two badges, so that's kind of nuts. That single enemy dropped six, the uh, Koopa Troopa thing. Good XP. Free art wheel, you got it. Oh shoot, by the way, I didn't unmute the uh, sound alerts. My bad guys, you might not have heard the sound alert that time. Sorry about that. Good luck. Yeah, I didn't I didn't have those turned on because um that one person decided to spam. Ooh. Double. Yeah, there was um someone Captain Blue, I think is what their name was. They kept spamming it. And I'm pretty sure somebody spoke on it. Ah. Sorry. Pico? <laughs> Just, uh, sailing along. Whoa. Been your dance group. I can do Quake Hammer for free! Oh, I thought they would take more. Spike Tactic!
That scoundrel made off of my dar darling, Pico. Okay. I'm not really sure what's happening. Okay, I've got to figure out how to take these dudes out. Hang on. Gambella, help me out here. Okay, 3 HP. That's a Spania. A Span Spania with spikes on its head. It looks meaner, too. Oh! Pico, the... Pico, the... the... Wingle. Max HP is 3, attack is 1, defense is 0, so sort of the same as a Spinia. You ought to watch out for the spikes on its head, but otherwise just wail on it. I'm gonna be honest though, the way that thing spins makes me want to yak. wanted to really badly. Oh dang, I should have Coops just do this. Whoa, defense. Thank you. That should have done four, I think. Eat this. You are a tanky little dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> No time to like, no time to get him tattled. Just him was like a lot of XP. That man was like super leveled. Probably avoid the last one. I will. Ah, dang it. Yeah, I'll, I'll get Spike Shield here in a second. Figure out how to get that thing.
that. I think it's a defense up badge. Oh, okay. I see what's happening here. Yeah, I noticed the distances didn't make sense. Yeah. Tack on it. I don't want to fence. I want power. I don't want to leave it, but at the same time, I'll come back if I need it. I still have to boat all the way back. Thanks, Mocha. You can stop. And now we go get the spike shield. Oh yeah. Spike shield. Just for the record, you can actually get just about to the chest with Yoshi. Wonder if you can do it with rolling. Even slower than Yoshi, okay. I guess because it has slower turning speed. Ooh. Whoa, that was field damage, what the heck? Also, I am damn near dead. That only did two damage. <laughs> I'm not happy with that. Yeah, I did. I'm probably gonna go back up to 15 though. <laughs> Especially after me getting, you know, kind of bodied just now.
<laughs> Perish. <laughs> Yeah, I'm bringing my HP back up. that I need to do down here? Oh. I need to go touch the thousand year door. Pizza, don't go to the door. To the door. Ashley Heights. Right. Let's pop in on that professor fellow. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Almost. Great news, everyone. Okay, great news, my friends. Now we know the next crystal star is in Poshley Heights. Wait a tick. I heard a tale. I heard tale that only the rich and famous call that place home. Yes, yes, and I believe Poshley Heights is also home to a shrine to the stars called Poshley Sanctum. The next crystal star must be hiding inside that shrine. I'm certain of it. Fairly certain. Mostly certain. But hey, no fear some monsters or dangerous dungeons this time. Just a simple tourist attraction. Harumph! Sounds positively scintillating, dear boy. Point us there. That's the best part! You ride the most famous train of all, the, ex the XS Express. Yes, after a luxurious steam agent excursion, the next crystal star will be yours. Getting those crystal stars has been back-breaking work, but this time will be a cinch. Pardon me for saying so, but mustn't you have a treasury full of riches to ride that train? Hmm, that may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Piazza for help with this, too. Ah, uh, no, terribly sorry. M impossible, can't do it. The man's pre reprehensible. What do you mean? Well, Drat, I suppose there's nothing else for it. Hey, old boy, if we must, we must. Let's go. Excellent, and we're set. We may not have much time until the demon resurrects. You must hurry. I'll gather all the information I can. You guys just handle your end of things. I found a piece of paper with Cortez. Lord Crump. x not. Okay. Just some tattle logs that I missed out on. Oh, hey, Marlin. Marlon. Oh, what impeccable timing. Yes, this was destined. 
When I consulted my star charts, I saw a portentous, a portentous sign for you, Mario. It went thusly. In the house of the dragon that flew in through the air beyond the rever rever reversible star, near the empty black chest that cursed you lies a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately, but I have no doubt of its importance as a sign of you and your friends. For you and your friends. If you find out this mystery, come tell me immediately. Alright, Blue. We're gonna go to, go to Hooktail real quick. That's the wrong pipe. I was gonna run there, but then I was like, nah. Oh, uh, just as a heads up. Uh, I have basically been reserved all day tomorrow. For the exception of when I'm home at around midnight. So... No Pokey Rogue. I will do Explorers of Sky, though. My dad... Okay, so, first... I'm getting kind of pressured into coming to a birthday party tomorrow, 2 p.m. as usual, right when I have to, you know, do my thing. And then, um, Dad, before it even became Saturday, said, "Don't make any plans for the for Saturday Saturday evening." And I'm like, "Okay, fine. I guess I'm booked." <laughs> I'm a very popular person, I, I suppose. Bruh, you have no idea how many birthday parties they plan. It's a just about every fucking week, and I cannot... I cannot... I'm not joking. I cannot lie about that. It's every fucking weekend. Because do you know how many relatives we have? On that side of the family. Just on my, just, yeah, buzzy. <laughs> just on my brother's side of the family, there are I want to say at least eight kids' birthdays, or six somewhere on there. And then my sister's got four of her own. So. Yeah, just about every fucking month, there's, you know, like every week, there's almost a birthday. <sighs> but, you know, I try not to go to all of them, I'll be real. Because people just don't have time, simply put. And I've let my brother know that. But apparently this one's special, because my brother's birthday was also this week. And, um... His wife wanted to surprise him a little. So, yeah, it's a little different. But you're right. I have a lot of birthdays to go to. And then mine. Yeah, and then mine. Next week. But as far as I know, I'm going to try to stay home. That ain't gonna stop people from asking me to come out, or you know, to a dinner or something, which is fine. I'll I'll go out to dinner. Uh oh. It's par. It's pro. Birthday break for my birthday. Well, I'll, I'm gonna stream, and I'm gonna stream with folks, but like like some other stream friends and other friends. I mean, you guys you guys are also welcome to join like into multiplayer shenanigans. We're going to be doing golf with your friends and there's up to 12 players on that. So, if you have golf with your friends, you are def you are totally allowed to join. Up arrow. It's unclear what this means. You should ask somebody super But yeah, um, 
And then after that, I'm getting together four people by that point, hopefully, to uh, do Mario Party. I've only had one person speak up, so I gotta find two more people. Dang it. So that's the that's the plan for the birthday. I'm I'm gonna be streaming for four hours, but then I'll be honest, I wanna do something else at midnight on my birthday, but like I don't know that many people on VR chat, so what I was thinking is maybe just have a hangout session, you know, in VR chat. Sit down on a couch, talk, live. Just, I don't know, just talk about things. Talk to chat, talk to people in the room. Namely, friends, preferably. Oh my lord. In VR chat, that is. I, I only want friends to be joining VR chat. Because I don't want some person dropping in and going in, 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 you know. Just being very disrespectful. I don't need people doing that. I can make this jump, watch. Oh gosh. Come on. <laughs> Only responsible partiers allowed. Mario. Thank you. <laughs> Speedrunners hate him. Well, now that that segue is over. Jeez, I guess I had a better chance of just going the normal way rather than go all that way into Pedalberg. I've already done this. Okay. Now we need to go to West Side. ZST actually told me about a cookbook that exists somewhere, um, and she put it as her trouble, so there's that. Oh, Bobbery Bomb wall. Mario just takes that explosion like a champ, didn't even flinch. Oh, uh... Just replace that. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Francesca. Oh, poor boss. The big man's been sick with loneliness ever since his daughter, daughter Suki daddled. Our underboss Frankie is gone. The boss is in shambles. 
What's the syndicate to do? That scruffy gang of punk thieves is stealing jobs right from us right and left. But hey, but hey enough about us and our per stupid problems, huh? What can we do for use? What? Ticket for the ritziest train around for the Excess Express? Whoa, you want tickets for that ro rolling wing ding? Oh, ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, us giving out tickets? That's rich. You gotta talk to the boss for that. Francesca. I just can't stand seeing the boss like this. If only we could help the boss and see his daughter again. Hang on. Those two fraudly, frankly, and... <clears throat> I gotta figure out a voice for this guy, honestly. Hang on. There's two fraudly folk, Frankly and Francesca, from Keel Hall Key. Who's on to what now? What did you say? Repeat that. You know where the young Miss Pianta is at? Really? No lie. I swear to you, if you lie, I will turn you into confetti, so help me. Well, if it's down to where she is. And why don't you bring her back here, huh? Be about, be a pal. We'd go ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected, you get me? Yeah, you bring us young friend Miss Francesca, and we'll ask the boss to do something about your little train ticket situation. We got a deal or what? <laughs> See, now that's better. I knew you were I knew once you'd understood our predicament, you couldn't refuse. Don't screw this up. I actually don't know... I don't know about a Scottish voice. It's it's when I'm put on the spot that makes it difficult. Like when he starts saying something, I don't expect it. I'm going to end up sounding Australian. That's the problem. I mean, I could do the Resident Evil voice guy, but... You're a merchant. <laughs> okay, so where do these two lovebirds go? <laughs> <laughs> you don't think they're in the uh, in the cave, do you? Oh, hey. Oh, hi there, Mario. What brings you back here? Can we do something for you? What? The boss is sick. Oh, poor daddy. Oh, no. And at a time like this. See, I, I just dropped the red wing ring Frankie gave to me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring. Otherwise, something may eat it. I. <laughs> he comes at you with his hammer drawn. What do you do? <laughs> it must be somewhere between here and that skull rock. Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. Didn't we forget about that ring for now and check on the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was the symbol of our love. We have to find it. We have to. Or. Maybe you just don't love me anymore, is that it? Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. None of your sweet talk now. You're gonna have to say you love me 100 times. 100 times! If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, come on now, babe. Of course I love you, my little short stack. Now please, let us go. Let's go. 
100. <laughs> no, you have to say it 999 more times, Frankie. Ah, oh, finally, fine, you dizzy dame. I love you. 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 I lo Mario, can we skip this, please? Mario, come on. Nice. Oh, hey, there, I said it. Oh, Frankie, baby, you're such a silly Billy. He he he. Now my little cream puff, let's find that ring right away. What do you say? Wow, you think these guys are gonna be all right looking for that ring thing on their own? Listen, Gonzalez, we better play it safe and help them, don't you think? Oh yeah. Between here and Skull Rock. Ah. I mean, I probably should just stay on that map first. Oh, that's a really low bar. Oof. Ow. Trying to super guard. You fiend! You stole FP! <laughs> now I'm going to starve. Have sub suboptimal FP totals. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the other map first. Okay, on a ring hunt then. Ah, you stupid. Really? hit the background. Can't select that, well...
So this kind of sucks. I got the spike guard and everything, but I'm not even going to be jumping on enemies anymore. So like... I'm going to use Yoshi or something to like hit air airborne enemies. But like... Oh. Ah, we really don't need this, honestly. So, like, really, I don't need to jump. If anything, he needs the spike shield. Well, okay. It was actually glittering. time using Yoshi for anything. Okay. Ah, that's it! That's my ring! You found it! Frankie, now we can go home to Daddy. We sure can, my ch little cheese and cracker. Let's go. Well, so anyway, we'll be down at the, at the dock. Hurry back, please. Oh yeah, um, that's where Power Plus Partner comes in. For like, you know, defense enemies. But even then that don't help, sometimes. Okay Mario, I think we're ready to go pal. Yeah, we are. Let's go back to Rogueport. Oh daddy, please hang on until we get there. Baza, need to go to Rogueport? Boy, man, we are off. Cast off to Rogueport. I love it. The fact that they do that shit still. We have to go see Daddy immediately. You got it, Francesco. I'm hazy, and I must say, Luigi is a great actor, one of the finest I've seen. After this adventure, we're going to tour to appear on stages everywhere. I'm going to be known as the Red Miracle, and of course Luigi will be grass. HP drain. Neat. Mario has become a vampire. What is that in your hand? Up arrow. What's this? An up arrow. An up arrow? Up. Of course! Okay, bye Marlon. Oh, oh, oh. 
This is the Ultra Stone. So that is what is what the star sign meant. I picked this up at a flea market years ago and forgot it was in the attic. With this, I can power up your partners even more. But how did the arrow have anything to do with this? Hey, Devin. We are cooking now. Prepare to power up a partner right this minute. Increase Mario's turns by one. That's nice. We'll do Gumbella next. Thanks, Merlon. Shadubi. Next stop, Don Pianta again. What do you got? Um, nah, this bad shop is probably just gonna have basic stuff. Could be crazy, but wasn't there another bad shop? Daddy, 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 wake up! Open your eyes! Boss! Oh, yeah, I've heard something about Chapter 6 having good music. Francesco? Daddy! Boss! <laughs> oh, my little Francesca, you came back for me. And you too, Frankie. Of course we did, Daddy. As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. <laughs> Francesca, Frankie, I was wrong. I was a stubborn old man, forgive me. I know I may regret saying this, but I want the two of you to stay here with me. I can't bear to be away from you two lovebirds. I'm an old man now. I need peace. Oi. I guess the time has come for me to stop being so selfish, causing everybody trouble. <laughs> Looks like even Don Pianta and the dawn of untimely death can't escape the old age. <laughs> the time has come, everyone. I'm gonna retire. <laughs> no, it's time, I mean it. And I want you to be my successor, Frankie. <laughs> what do you say, Frankie? As of today, you're the new head of the... D <laughs> of the... D P P P Pinata Syndicate. What? But boss, you still got it in you. you you're a spring chicken. You don't gotta do this. And I mean, me, boss? No, you're the one, Frankie. I've been thinking that for a long time now. You'll do just fine, kid. I got a feeling about you. A good one. I want you to take care of Francesca and the rest of the syndicate the way I did. Boss! You, Mario. Looks like you're, you've done another favor for me, kid. Mm-mm. Yeah. Uh, about that, boss. Oh, this one's gonna be just a beautiful, I know it. What do you, what did you guys do? 
Well, uh, we kind of promised him something, boss. We told him we'd ask you about a ticket for the Excess Express if he brought, brought your daughter. <laughs> Whoa, ho, 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 is that all? You had me worried for a second. Come on over here, Mario. How many you want? Tit one, two, ten. Help yourself. Yeah, in a way, yeah. He's the mafia guy. <laughs> you come back anytime you like. How about debt? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that I've retired, I'm gonna get out of here. Daddy. Boss. You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that? You, the boss. You do good now, Frankie. He just kind of had that drop on his lap. Frankie, we've got lots of work to do, and don't worry. I'll keep you in line. <laughs> Sweet Bean, come on. Knock it off with a pet not name nonsense, will you? Call me Francesca. Huh? F -f Francesca? Yes, or Miss Boss. Tee hee hee. Underboss. Or, I mean, boss. You got our loyalty. We'll be by your side whenever you need us, boss. Thank you so much, Mario, for everything. You're welcome here anytime. You're like a brother to me. <laughs> brother. <laughs> brother. You know, me and my brother actually do that. Whenever we call each other, he's like, hello, and I say, what up, brother? <laughs> he's like, what up, brother? <laughs> Just always brother. <laughs> You ain't bad, kiddo. Yeah, you ever think about joining up with the syndicate? It's the life, kid. I'm Mario, brother. Mm. Wow, the fucker has the audacity to not even have view viewing on. Yes, yes, yes! We can go to Poshley Heights! Yes! That six crystal star is as good as ours! Wee hee 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 hee! I heard that, my uglies! So the six crystal star is in Poshley Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so! Hey! You're that Beldum! Normally this would be where I finally deal with you and that sappy traitor Vivian. But something tells me that trying that alone might be unwise. So you live for now. Instead I'll just beat you to Poshley Heights and get that crystal star before you do. Wee! <laughs> Whoa, that sounded bad. We gotta get to Poshley Heights before that witch. Let's make tracks for Roadport Station. Bonk. Wait. Okay. Hello. This is the Excess Express bound for luxurious Poshley Heights. Passengers must present a ticket to board. Low battery. <laughs> Everything looking or Everything looks in order. Will you be coming aboard? Watch your step, please. This train never even left. At all. All aboard! Until Mario came along. Hang on. Something's happening here. Why do I not hear the game? Like I... Oh, that's why. My volume was turned down. The three days of excess. Like, it's... I have the monitor. Like, my monitor has speakers on it. So, I was hearing the game. It just doesn't sound as bassy, if that makes sense. Mario's Cabin. Oh yeah, the XS Express. This is so deluxe, man. 
the three days to Poshley Heights are going to be over like that. Huh? Hey, you see that? Something on the floor. When did that get there? Oh, I didn't even, I was looking at this box over here. I wasn't looking at the thing. Don't go to Poshley Heights. Get off the train now or a sticky, yummy doom awaits it. What a freaky threat. You don't think this could be Beldum's work, do you? Whoever this creep is, you gotta figure out they're on, you gotta figure they're on this train, right? We gotta get this guy before anything bad goes down on this train. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the dining car where you eat and stuff. Some people take this train, train just so they can eat our yummily fabulous food. In this trip, we have a super famous act, actor on board, Zip Toad. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so swooning. I'm totally swooning. I so hope he comes over here to eat soon. I want, I want an autograph. Hello, fish. Hello, I am Chef Simi, the culinary expert. Grab, bleh, glad to make your com complaintance. Uh, I mean, acquaintance. So sorry, cheap cheap is my first language, you know. Today's lunch is so amazing, it'll make your tongue cry out in shame. Please do taste it so that my passion does not wither alone in a pot of loneliness. There's a shiny stove in here. It's been polished to a brilliant luster. Okay, well, I would like to eat it, but you... Hi. I'm on my way back home. I have strayed so long, I have forgotten what it looks like. You're going to a place in Paper Mario 64. Hi. Me? I have a very important deal to attend once we arrive in Poshley Heights. I'm traveling on business, so everything goes on expense account. On the expense account. Yes. Okay. Oh, of course the rich bob bombs are here. Yeah, I'm Bob, and we're gonna get a birthday present for me, and it'll be cool. Aren't you jealous? We're on. We're en route to Poshley Heights to buy a birthday present for little Bub here. Ah, um, my my my. Oh, you're the champion of the Glitz Pit, are you not? Yes, the Great Gonzalez. Bound for, bound for Poshley Heights. Well, it certainly is a fitting place for a celebrity like you. Star piece. Okay, now I'm impulsed to look at every single drawer. Hi. Hello to you and welcome to the XS Express. I'm the conductor of this train. He's saluting. That's neat. And I trust you must be Mr. Mario from Cabin 5. Make yourself at home, sir. Just to let you know, beyond here is the baggage car. I'm sorry, but I can't let, let passengers in. What's that? Some sort of sticky, yummy threat? I, I see, good gracious me. Thank you for letting me know. Please be careful out there and return to your cabin. <laughs> yummy threat. Whoa! A clue, there's traces of something on the flooring. Okay. Hmm, yes, I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. But what shall I call it? That is the question before us. Yes, what to call it? Yes, the case of the pot of the supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, that will do nicely. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery, one that impacts you all. What a mystery! A mystery, you just said. And, uh, or am I gonna say, like, what, what kind of dish is that? I am known as Pennington. You would likely not guess it, but I am a detective. At the risk of an immodesty, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. And this little conundrum, my dear passengers, poses no challenge. 
Ooh. The central clue of this case, and also the most vital one as it happens, is that our perpetrator took the whole pot stew and all, and so my esteemed friends. I can only conclude that one the one responsible is you, you gluttonous woman. What? It's me? Are you totally cuckoo? I have like no idea what you're talking about. Or, uh, pardon me, sorry. Please accept my apologies, my dear woman. I felt it needed to practice my accusation skills. You understand? Yes, sorry. No. I am very good. Now let us get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be a case worthy, worthy of my intellect. Hmm, yes. Let me get this straight. So what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is. And uh, I guess that's about it, right? Oh, this scene is for total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my cabin. Urf. You there, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your cabin, eh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. I have just broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is zip toed the actor. Uh, okay. No way, Mr. Detective Person. You're just making stuff up. You, Tweed. <laughs> Weedy Geezer. <laughs> Weedy Geezer. Geezer! I can't say I deserve such a verbal thrashing, but well, then who did do it, hmm? Hmm, <clears throat> this puzzle deepens with every confounding step. You're just being an idiot. That's not polite. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you want? Burp. Sorry about that. Now, what were you just saying? A pot from the kitchen. Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen. You blame me right away with no evidence. Not nice. What? Drops a stew on the floor outside. Uh, no, I wouldn't know anything about that. No. People spill stuff. And there's nothing in the drawer, so no need to, no need to look. You won't find a thing. Several gourmet food magazines in here. One of them is an issue devoted to the food of the XS Express. There's a large photo of Chef Shimi on the cover. His smile is just blinding. There's something under the magazines. The galley pot, empty stew pot. Things look like it was lit clean. I'm sorry, I ate it all. It was me! So you were enamored of the stew that you wanted to so enamored of the stew that you wanted to steal it and devour more? And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots? Answer. Yes, yes, that's right. So sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never reoccur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you with the unkept facial hair. My keen sleuthing instincts identified you as the correct person to collar for to collar the ruffian. Now about that note in your cabin. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on this train, the conductor confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in the cabin six so we may discuss this in private. Oh, and please return to the pot to the chef if you would. Oh, good sir, have you discovered my thoughts? Wait, my pot! Ah, sir, you are the hero of my world. You have brought back my dear pot. And it is empty, of course, but it is mine, and I love it, thanks to you from me. Here, just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please fake it. <laughs> ah, why must I butcher this language so, so shameful? Please take it, I mean. Poor guy. There's gonna be a lot of talking in this episode. Aha! I've been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on the last case, I must admit. 
However, I don't think the one you apprehended is our sticky, yummy malcontent. I have de de deduced this from the lack of any incriminating clues in his cabin. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it is decided then. I shall take you on as my new assistant. Oh? Huh? To reiterate, my name is Pennington. I'm a detective from Poshley Heights. I'm known in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of me, so that is all I will say on the subject. And as for your name, wait. I demand you do not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. That mustache. That nose. Hmm. Oh, ho, ho, all too easy. You, sir, are the quite obviously famed Luigi, are you not? Wow, you're so offended, Mario. <laughs> something, something, Luigi. Now about this threat. Our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. A sticky, tasty explosion. That family of bob -oms. They are definitely suspect. Now, Luigi, we must reduce this case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. should get little bub I think we should get little bub the advanced learners classic series of bombomery two words cheap and boring thanks a little more luxurious dear perhaps a car or a house bub is too small for such things gold bob stop thinking of your own social status he needs something that will further his education not spoil him honestly Piss. I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about hey mister are you a detective now that you quit being a champion well, so, think you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Sure. Really? Cool! Okay, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Here's your hint. It has an owl at the end, at the front. Now you've got it, don't you? I think. Sounds like autograph. Giant mounds of cosmetics. Of course, the celebrity would be in cabin number one. Yep. Several postcards and gloss glossies featuring zip toad inside. Okay. What does that little bub kit want as a present? Uh, well, I'm sure he'd be stoked to have an autograph from a famous movie star, right, guy? Hey, sorry though, that's a no do can do for me. My fee for autographs is out of your budget. <laughs> the, the fucking. The, the shade drop. Hey, Gonzalez. You think that Bub Kid might want something from a guy he admires, maybe? Whatever he wants, we gotta find it soon or else, boom, yummy and sticky. But. If it's not that, then what is it? <laughs> Looks like the door may not be open while the train is in motion. Obviously. Um, hi. <laughs> Running this train during the sunset is the high point of every day for me. So let's all let's all here for the Excess Express. Huzzah, huzzah. Hmm, so it's not an autograph. What do you think, Gambella? Well, okay, we just did, so... 
wait. I think it just clicked with me. He wants an auto autograph from the conductor. The train conductor. It just went in my head. I vaguely, vaguely, vaguely remember that. And I'm going to be a fool if I'm wrong. Yes. Yes, I I do. Autograph. <laughs> I can hear everything from that from that as loud as loud and clear. One thing I heard was cute. That boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. What an interesting dream for a rich little kid like that. Hey, hey, hey. He just wants to be a train engineer. Or, yeah, that. Dang, I could really go for some caffeine or, you know, sugary drink, which I don't, I don't have anything cold. He likes trains. Believe me, I've heard a lot about Indigo Park. Ramley's adorable, but I, I know I'm the only one that's kind of bothered by his voice. You want my autograph, sir? Oh, it's for little bub. Well, yes, of course. Here you are, sir. Also, this toad is not wearing a mushroom hat, and he looks really awkward. Gosh, I've never gotten out an autograph before. That felt fantastic. This man's just doing his job, and he just has to sign a paper to make someone very happy. Man, if people walked up to me while I was working at Walmart and asked me for an autograph, I mean, I would say, yeah, but, like, okay. <laughs> so, did you bring me the thing I want most? Hey, yeah, bingo, mister. That's just what I wanted. You're a good detective. Here's something for you, just like I said. Ooh. Where'd you get that? Thanks for the autograph. I'll take your good care of it, I promise. So it looks like it was an autograph, eh, Luigi? Hmm, yes, just as suspected. As I suspected. Oh, and the conductor just came by looking for you, Luigi. This smells of a new mystery. It's gonna be a lot of back and forth. so mysterious what with the lies and bugs and whatnot so let's all uh, okay in the 
fourth car? Ah! Uh, wait, was it the guy at the door? Good grief, I gotta run all the way back. Mr. Mario, I'm glad you spoke to me. I just remembered something suspicious. I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to passengers. I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exact blanket counts. It means someone came on board without a ticket. That stowaway might just be your suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep, at <laughs> sleep tonight. If you could go look for the unticketed passenger and get that blanket, I'd thank you. Call me Blanket Pie. P.I. Okay. Well, now I have to keep a watch here, but I'll be waiting for the good news. Hi. I'm going to try to get all my paperwork done. So, okay. So, can you just stay on my way for a while? Okay. <laughs> you solved this incident in record time. I was way impressed. Hey, come to think of it, I could use your skills. Can you help me? Maybe. Really? Wow, okay, so I lost these Shelly earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me. And they're like, all full of memories and stuff. I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something? Please? If, if I come across them? Sure. Completely unintentional. What's wrong with you? I heard some noises in the cabin next door a while ago. Weird ones. But when I looked, it was empty. I was like, okay, that was freaky. Then when I came back, I heard the noises again. It really spooked me. Would you mind checking on that cabin for me? You know something? I heard a noise too. I thought it was just some random part of the song. You. So you found me. Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. I curse, I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket. Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize I'm a ghost. A yummy, sticky threat? No, I left, so no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. Well, you just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do me something for me. What do you say? All I need is... Your life! Your life! Of course I fucked that up. No, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. But I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. And my fear is that someone would find it and read it has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room. So can you find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. And don't you even dare read my diary. Because if you do... Whoa! A horrible fate awaits you. 
You may never hear a gargled, like, ghostly toad laugh ever again. Except for this game. Not to mention an evil one. Hey, buddy. Did you find the blanket? What? A ghost? Eek! And he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car? I see. Well, go on in. You don't say no to ghosts. <laughs> the diary the ghost kept. You shouldn't read it. And if you do, it's literally a game over. I'm going to go ahead and spoil it. That's peculiar. Door back there. Did you find the diary? Wonderful. I knew you would. Now I cannot leave my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. Though I would like to see what's written in it. We're not doing that. <sighs> While this is a very luxurious and, like, not very threatening train ride and all, it is kind of like back and forth boring as shit. Did you find my diary? In that case, can you please place it in that drawer? Yes, this is my diary. Very well, your blanket is right here. Thought you couldn't hold anything. The conductor's blanket. Without this, he's freezing. They need more... They need people movers in this train. People movers? You are very wise not to read my diary, Fred. Ooh. If you had read it, you might be a spirit like me right now. But now I can go peacefully on from this world. Thank you so much. You will probably never meet me again in this world. Fare thee well. What? What? Well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wood paneling is so great, maybe I'll just stay here a little while longer. I can leave whenever, so... That's all there is to it? Ooh. <laughs> the fucking... <laughs> I'm not going to say whether or not that was in the game or not. The last one. Hold on. That was pretty good. Moving sidewalks. Okay. So, Mr. Mario, how did you do with the blanket? Oh, thank you so much. Now I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, our yummy, sticky mischief maker is still at large. Oh, hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture of my thanks. Well, thank you. You know, I kind of need to pick me up. Dang, Bobbery has 40 HP. It's getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should just turn in for the night? You're in Captain 5, in, KP, in case you forgot. If anything happens, I'll report it to you immediately. Do not worry about a thing. For I am the conductor of the Excess Express.
Hey, let's grab a few wings, huh? Express day two. Here we go. Uh oh. Ah, oh, my dear Luigi, your tummy is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Now then, Mr. Businessman, please exp explain the facts to my assistant, Luigi. Okay, okay, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase, briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal and even our new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at the least. Now, now, calm yourself. The next part is vital, so tell Luigi very slowly. Of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Used properly, it's an amazing product that can even raise the dead. <laughs> but if mixed with the calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold, well then, the results are explosive. The resulting go goo blast would immobilize everyone here in a sticky, yummy shell shellac. If it's fallen into the wrong ha hands, well, I could lose more than my job. Let's examine these facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. So you definitely had it yesterday. Hmm. And the train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. I have it. Rudimentary, my dear Luigi. Rudimentary. The thief is still on the train. If anything, you've done it again. <laughs> Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress and the lady in cabin two? They both have lost something on this train. The waitress lost shell earrings. And the lady Toodles lost a gold ring. Luigi, if, Luigi, if the same person who stole those ob objects also has the nitro honey syrup, they could make this goo blast. They could carry out the thread in the note. So it's simple, Luigi. You must find that, that thief. We must comprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan is put into effect. <clears throat> Top of the morning to you, Gonzalez. I'm afraid you saw us at our worst, arguing worst, yesterday. I feel rather ashamed. Listen, Bub sure has been in high spirits since yesterday. I wonder why he's so happy. Good morning, mister. Thanks for the autograph yesterday. <laughs> Hello, Detective Mario. I saw no one suspicious during the night. We will be stopping at Riverside Station today around dusk, I believe. Oh, this is the uh, business guy's room. Hello! It is a good day. Isn't it, friend of mine? Yes, a delicious day. I will make some food so delicious it will make the day mad. Hoi, 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 hoi. Good morning. Is there any chance you've seen my shell earrings anywhere? Hey, morning, Mario. Have you been to the dining car yet today? I still can't believe I stole that pot of stew. It was like a bad chowdery nightmare. But thanks to that incident, the cook and I are pals now. Isn't life weird? Well, hello there, you fine, fine specimen of a man, you. You are marvelous, dear. You solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes, very well done. You are so ruggedly smart. Perhaps you can help me with something as well? Sure. Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost. Okay. Can you believe it? Yes. 
Wow, I was the one that didn't actually find the, uh, I didn't talk to her first. Uh-oh. Vital paper. This looks like something very important and complicated. Good morning to you, sir. Did you sleep well? We will be making a stop at Riverside Station today. You'll love it, I assure you. Everyone's just so chill here. Too bad that I'm going left and right for an entire hour and a half. Have you stumbled upon any new clues? What is this paper, hmm? What sort of clues, clue is this supposed to be? Ack! That's one of the contracts for my upcoming business deal! What? I mean, yes, just as I suspected. You idiot. Luigi, where did you find this very important clue? Cabin 1, you say? Yes. Zip Toad's room, a place I have long suspected. Come to think of it, I do not believe I've seen him today. Then perhaps he is hiding somewhere on the train. Always one step ahead. Very well, my dear Luigi, find that Zip Toad. Jeez Louise. Hello, Detective Mario. Okay. Could he be? Oops. Did you see that Zip Toad came to last night's dinner? But I really have to say, he's like way cuter on the big screen. Maybe they all are? Back and forth. I know. I know. Whoa, there's a note on the floor. This paper's just like that last one. The, sus the suspect must be in here somewhere. There's a dried mushroom inside the drawer. Oh. <laughs> wow. Where'd you come from? You won't be catching me like that easily, guy. <laughs> Youch! <laughs> so this was our man all along, pretending to be Zip Toad, I see. All the while pilfering things from, an, uh, from others to aid your evil plan. Hmm, yes, this was all just as, as I had deduced. I knew all along you were a fake. Yes, a discolored nostril hair tipped... A discolored nostril hair tipped me off. And not only that, but I knew that you were the one who would th who'd threaten Luigi. Curses! I almost got away with it by, uh, by getting off at Riverside Station 2. Yes, you played a daring and indigenous little game, my friend. But the jig is up now, fiend, and the good people on this train are now safe. For in the doo 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 no one escapes from this improbably large brain. Ahem, well, yes. In any case, at least return what you have stolen, Fink. 
Blech. Ah! My perfect my precious briefcase. Is the nitro uh, nitro honey syrup safe? Oh thank you, thank you. Thank the stars it's safe. Now I won't get this now I won't get the sack. Our rendezvous with disaster was diffused by most my most rudimentary and de of deductions. Bing bong bing bong. Attention all passengers, this train will soon make a brief schedule stop at River Riverside Station. Bing bong bong. What do you mean at sunset at like 5 o'clock? That's weird. I think not, Slick. You think you can hold me? No way. Belden would flip if I let that happen. This whole zip toad thing was just a means to an end. It's me, suckers. Doobless. Belden's plan to goof uh, goo up by Mario didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and running now. I'll leave the rest to Belden. See ya, suckers. Want to get outside for a second? The the exit is in the first car. You know that kind of checks out. Duplis wouldn't be able wouldn't have been able to imitate that guy's autograph, so he made up an excuse. Ah, oh, my dear Luigi, our suspect was not only a fake dip toad, he was some monstrous being in a white sheet, which was exactly as I suspected, bull. Too bad he gave us a slip like that, though. He was a rather slippery sort. We could have questioned him about all that Beldum business. This is Riverside Station. We stopped to refuel. There's a quaint drawbridge here from when pleasure boats cruised the canal. I almost stuttered so bad. But it hasn't been used since the can canal was dried up, dried up and turned into a pasture. Yeah, I'm flubbing. Double check. Okay, making sure there wasn't any star pieces over there. What's wrong? Oh no, what will, what do we do? Someone's lifted the drawbridge. The train can't leave the station like this. I saw some suspicious looking shadowy people wearing hats going to the station. They must have gone down to the bridge control room to flip the switch there. But that switch hasn't been used in so long, I don't know where the control room is. So, um, it's probably against protocol to ask a passenger to do this, but since you are the famous Mario and all, could you go find and throw that switch? Maybe? <laughs> really? That would be super! No time to get started like the present, so here's the station's entrance key. Oh, thank you so much. Throw down with the shadow sirens. Ahem, this is the famous Luigi, I'll have you know. <laughs> this is it, Luigi. Let's go find ourselves an elevator key. Okay. Yep. Fine. Now we're going to need
Okay. Yep, I'm down with that battle theme. <laughs> yeah, it's going nuts. I messed it up. <laughs> Get out of the way, then! I don't really need it. I don't have anything to worry about. I gotta figure out how these dang gears work. Okay. 
Oh, thank you. There's like no music in here. There might be a save block in there. It ain't gonna be terrible if I do die, though, because I have a live stream. Oh. Honestly, that attack was stronger than most of what Yoshi could do. Oh, thank you. Hello.
There we go. So long to get that charged up. <laughs> nice. Jeez Louise, stop giving me all these items. I mean, it helps, because Mario actually needed that. Yoshi Stampede, yep. All this work! I mean, I guess they had to switch it up somehow. Goombas in here? said much. I think I kind of got tired. After this section, I'm probably gonna hold off. So now, what's this all about? Hmm? 
Uh-oh. Okay. Big chest. It's the super, the ultra boots. Yeah. Hi, it's me again, Tordette. It's nice to see you again. Way to get the ultra boots. Now your jump attack power will go way, way up. And you can use the new jump technique too. Let's practice it right now. It's a little hard, but I know you'll get it. Just hold down A and rotate L to make your body fold up. Then release A to do a giant spring jump. Remember though, you need to rotate a lot before you release A, release A okay? The spring jump can help you reach new areas since you can grab pipes above you. Move left or, uh, left or right to move along the pipe and press B to let go of a pipe. Wow, way to go, Mario. That was very well done. Are you clear on the controls? Yep. Okay, now you've mastered the spring jump. For the spring jump, you can attack blocks and other things. Wait, you can attack blocks and other things in high places. For example, if you punch a panel from below, you can knock off something sitting on top of it. Oh yeah, if you can, you, you can use the spring jump in battle, too. We'll see you next time, I guess, and good luck on your quest. Problem is, I'm not jumping anymore. I missed. that just to get an elevator key. <laughs> Which ironically enough we didn't really need considering I could just jump. with the uh, spring there, but, you know, whatever. Whoa, 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 I've seen that. What in the world are these little monsters? Let's chase them off and find that switch, fast!
Very nice. Okay. I know it's just a bit sudden. Should I really? It's gonna take a bit, ain't it? I think I should stop here, because I'm getting a little bit tired. It seems like everybody else has moved on, and yeah, it's about that time, I guess. I've been making these really long episodes, and I should probably not make them so long. Um, it's mostly because I was trying to ch squeeze all of the chapter in one big video, but just, uh, you know. Sometimes it's not really feasible. They're long chapters. This one has a lot of running back and forth and a lot of other stuff, so I think we're just going to come back to this, if that's okay. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. See you guys tomorrow night, where we're going to be doing more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. So, have a good one.